He just keeps picking up points no matter what. Needhamall gloves that one down. It's a turnover, though, in front they score. Catalyst going hard to the front of the net, and Eric Catalyst now a nine-game point streak for the Kalamazoo Wings. And the Wings lead it one nothing. And this all started with trouble in, in what those, what I like to call the gray zones, Matt, right by your blue lines, whether you're trying to come out or get in. A turnover, and, and Kalamazoo made Toledo pay on that turnover. That's just some good, simple passing by Kalamazoo. And, and Catalyst, talking about a player who just seems to have raise his game up when he's playing against the walleye. That's his fifth goal of the season for Eric Catalyst. And he had two assists against Toledo in four games coming in. Settle it down for a moment to let it go, and Monroe stopped him. Ferk dangling. Ferk behind the net in front. They score! <laughs> Troy Schwab may have got a piece, but the power play strikes. And there you go. We're tied at one. Yeah, sometimes it just it takes one little... One little moment of, of greatness to turn a game around, Matt. And, and Martin Furk just kind of had the, 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 the puck on the stick like a yo-yo. Here's Barnes with a great chance. Couldn't quite make it settle down. And here we go with Furk, just uh, like a yo-yo almost. There we go, in and out. And just an easy pass, a little backhand tap in for Schwab. That's a tough call there if it did go off of Schwab or yep. if it's Furk's well, goal. It sure looked like Schwab. The net, Slowakowski plays it in behind the cage. Stick is back there, that's Tyler. Lift it up, Taylor held it in. Elbrecht just took, or make that, who was that that went down over there? Bershman. That was behind our referee who was watching the play going up the ice. Barnes will get to center. He got offended by Soba, and behind the play, Tyler Elbrecht has dropped the gloves, and Ray Canisto. Canisto just trying to tie him up, and he did. Down to the ice they went. Well, it started with a Canisto for Richard Needhamall, and another shot there that stopped. <laughs> Furt, there's a hit on the near side from Lample. Oh, boy. This is going to get... Yeah. Yeah, this is going to get out of hand here because we have seen some hits, some questionable ones. There was one that... Possibly should have been called on the near side. And, and, and that's and that's my point, Matt, is that one bad hit that doesn't get called leads to this type of stuff. Yep. And it just does. And yep. so this one from Lample. Well, there you go. As he has gone two for three so far. There you go, Jeff Lurg will face Justin. Taylor, who will shoot first for the Kalamazoo wing. It is Taylor slowly coming in on Lurg. Then he picks up his pace and he scores. Now are the Sheeran shootouts had stopped four prior to that one. It'll be new as they will send out Rigor Nagy. Faked it, still with it, and he scores. Oh, my. And it's 2-0. Kalamazoo in the shootout on the race to five shooters. This year, he's one for four. And he picks it up. He'll go towards the left circle. Then cuts in front. He scores! Left there, back to Jeff Lurg. I got you, buddy. Rister to the year. He'll pick it up. He'll come in on Monroe, waiting, scoring! He goes five hole, and we are tied at two. Right between the pads. Barnes has a chance to win it for Toledo. The crowd is on their feet. Barnes is in. He's gone. 